Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Um, uh, another busy day. I'm just getting done work this morning. Um, just got to my dermatologist. I figured I'd get a quick clip in. Um, last night I went and took, uh, Mike and I took Stanley to go see Into the Spider-Verse and I was so proud of him. It was his first real theater experience. I mean, he's done like the show at Franklin Institute or like outdoor screening things with us, but he's never done a full movie experience. So it was really nice. I was so proud. He was quiet the whole time and he ate his snacks and he didn't fall asleep, which I thought he was going to. It was pretty late. Um, the movie didn't start till 7.30, you know. But he did amazing. I'm a little worried about him today because he didn't get to bed till like 10, 15, 10, 30. But I hope he's okay today. Um, I couldn't be more proud. I really couldn't. Um, I have another busy day today. I'm going to leave the dermatologist. I have to run back up to work, get some paperwork handled. And then I'm going to leave there. I have a one-on-one -on -one therapist appointment. And then I have to go back to work. Um, I really wanted to get to Trader Joe's tonight. There's a few things like, um, there's like a sparkling lemonade I really like from there. Um, just a whole bunch of stuff really. The cotton candy grapes, I really hope they have them because Giant carries them sometimes, but they haven't had them in a while. So, I'm hoping Trader Joe's will have them. Um, what else is going on? Feeling good. Um, I kind of have been feeling like, not like anxiety is... I don't know how to explain it guys like kind of like an anxiety attack is gonna come on or like a little bit of pressure on my chest and it, I kind of get anxious for a couple seconds or a couple minutes and it's been going and then it goes away and I've kind of had that for the last two days but it, it hasn't been anything major so I'm chalking it up to like you know good stuff good day um I think that's it for right now guys and I'll talk to you later oh another thing actually I really, <laughs> I realize as I'm getting older, all the wrinkles, and I'm always doing this, and I realize, like, my forehead, I was really wondering, like, I know my insurance covers um, acupuncture, acupuncture, and I find, like, all this stuff, and I really want to see if I can find a way for my insurance to cover, like, a little bit of Botox, but in the meantime, I really need to start wearing sunglasses while I'm driving, because I noticed, like, in the morning, I'm always squinting because of the sun and making these wrinkles. So, if anyone has any, like, home remedies or stuff for, like, helping wrinkles, help a girl out. <laughs> Alright, guys. I guess I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. It's very dark in here, right? Yeah. Um, where did we just come from? The movie theater. The movie theater. And what did we say? We seen into the Spider Verse. It, did you like it? Yeah. Who was your favorite character? Peter Parker. And I like Spider Woman, and Uncle Mike liked the black and white Spider Man, right? Mm -hmm. And it yeah. was on a really big TV, right? Yeah. And it's already 10:30, well past your bedtime. Yeah. Yeah. So we got to get home. We stopped at the store to get cereal. And yeah. then we will be on our way home. I was so proud of you, right? You didn't talk, you didn't scream, yeah. you stayed awake, and you were so good. Yeah. All right, love you. Mm -hmm. Move it closer. Move it closer. Oh, hold on. Mwah. <laughs> I love you. Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. Um, I just got done my work, or my morning shift. Um, I pulled up at home. I, I have something black under my eye. Um, Mike has to take the trash out, and we have a couple errands to run, and I think I'm going to go down to Trader Joe's. Um, the closest one to me, uh, I think there's one in Center City and then in Jenkintown. So it is a little bit of a trip, but I wanted to pick up some more foods and healthier stuff and... Um, starting today i'm getting back on and i don't even want to call it a diet just back on making better and healthier choices for myself um no more bagels with a pound of cream cheese for breakfast and stuff like that because you know i'm the first one to be able to help people and give good advice but i have to follow it and i am a firm believer in 
accepting guidance from others and applying it in my life. And I know that I need to be making healthier choices and I'd really, really, really want to give up smoking. Um, so to start any of this journey out, I have to, I can't keep putting it off. Um, I started as soon as I, uh, got sick and stuff, I stopped going to the gym uh, again. And so starting the day back to healthy choices, healthy eating patterns, stuff like that. And going back to the gym. Um, I had a banana for breakfast, but the one and only unhealthy thing that I am continuing for now, other than cigarettes, is my coffee. <laughs> I know there's too much sugar and stuff in it, but one thing at a time, baby steps, um, and I really just want it for myself. I'm tired of being like a little plumpy potato, and all throughout my 20s, like, people used to say to me, like, Oh, you're so skinny. Oh my gosh. Like you look so great that oh, your stomach's so flat and I used to kind of get annoyed like oh, I, I don't want to hear that like that's not a good thing to be super skinny or whatever and um, I always related it as like oh do I look unhealthy and I know like I did at some points but it wasn't under my control. I have a very fast metabolism and I was such a nervous ball of energy. I was always going and really not choosing and skipping meals and and not for any reason like I've never suffered from um, any type of eating disorders or anything like that um, I just was lucky enough to have a good <laughs> metabolism and I just wasn't eating properly and since my dad died I, it's like I don't know how to explain it other than yes I'm still a nervous ball of energy but I learned how to release and work on myself and with the therapy I've learned how to slow down and make sure I am eating my meals and just <laughs> Mike I'm doing my video and Mike is at the window making faces at me stupid um I just learned I don't even know what the hell was I just saying basically I learned how to like channel all that energy into healthier things and I had to get back on track so also as I hit like 27 28 my metabolism caught up with me just like everyone said it would and at first, I'm like, oh, this is great. Like, my butt's getting big. My boobies are getting bigger. Like, boom. And then, now it's like, oh, your belly's getting really big, too. I look like a little Oompa Loompa. And I just want to be comfortable with myself again. I used to be able to look in the mirror and just be like, yeah, hell yeah. And there's a picture, um, I don't know, maybe about a year and a half ago, um, when the doctor told me I had to slow down for with the gym for a couple months until we figured out because they were worried if it was something with my heart and I had gotten um bronchitis and pneumonia and I'd gotten really sick and so I remember taking the picture and I had almost had abs and it was like and then I look at me now and I'm like what happened oh my god so fast that that happened to me but I'm getting a little ranty um I'm just gonna go about my day uh, see, the one thing is I get these clips in the morning when I have like a few minutes and then I don't really film much else even though I'm always going to places. I just think it's boring and then of course I can't film at work or I wouldn't film at work. Um, but I don't know guys. <laughs> I am enjoying just talking and um, all the feedback I get. You know, it, it just means a lot and I enjoy it and I know I said it a hundred times already but I'm just thankful and grateful for the few of you who do watch and reach out to me. It means a lot. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Independence, what they call me